Hello everyone, welcome back to another advent calendar video. Today we are on episode... I don't even friggin know. One, two... Oh, f five? This is only episode five and it's like the end of November. Um, today I have episode five and we have this. This is another advent calendar that I've never tried before because it is so freaking hard to get hold of. Like I've tried pretty much every year and I never managed to get it, but this year they very kindly sent it to me. This isn't sponsored though, so I can be completely honest with it and we can roast it if it's crap. Um, but yeah, this was gifted to me from Yes Style because this is funnily enough, the Yes Style advent calendar. Yeah, I've always wanted to give this one a go because it is something a little bit different because it's filled with K-Beauty products, which I have tried before and I always really love. So yeah, hopefully this is good. This is their, what have they called it? Their Christmas Capsules Beauty Advent Calendar for 2024. It cost 130 pounds, I think. This is what it looks like. It's very cute and cute. It's got some little cute fellas on it and little things. It's a very like, I know the word, but I feel like I always say it wrong. It's very kawaii. Is that right? Day number one. <sighs> is anyone seeing like day number one? I can't see it. Now mate, there isn't one. I'm sorry, there isn't one. Literally, there isn't a one. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is on the back. For. Okay, so every single day is inside the calendar. Day number one is like in this spot, but round the back. There you go. I feel like this could, could have gone here, right? <laughs> day number one is freaking massive. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to pronounce all the names because they're gonna be Korean beauty brands. Uh, Turta? <laughs> Maybe. Then this is their Refresh and Glow Duo. We've got a cleansing balm and a toner. Okay. So already we've got like a double product draw. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is their Milk Skin Toner. It literally looks like milk. Like, that looks like milk. It doesn't smell like milk. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a little toner, pretty good size as well. And then this is their Hydro Boost Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Oh, okay. So it's a little like, there we go. It's like a little hard balm cleanser kind of product. It says pore purifying makeup remover. Again, pretty decent size as well. Okay, day number two is this little one here. And we have a, oh, a lip gloss. This is by the brand Peri Pera, and it's their Ink Glasting Lip Gloss ink glasting. Uh, this one's in the shade 01 clear. Ooh, <gasps> cute. Oh, it looks like a little kind of lip oil, lip gloss kind of thing. That is one of the nicest smelling lip glosses I've ever smelled in my entire life of smelling things. <laughs> It smells so good. Wait, what is that? I don't know what it is. It's all in Korean. I can't read it. Okay, day number three is this one. Looks like we've got another skincare product. Yeah, this is a serum. It's by the brand Goodall. And it's their Green Tangerine Vita C, or, or Vita C, Dark Spot Care Serum. Okay, ooh. I bet it smells like oranges or lemons or something. It doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It just has like a typical kind of skincare smell. I thought it was gonna smell like oranges because it says tangerine and vitamin C and all that. But yeah, there we go. A little serum, again, pretty good size. I'm pretty sure all of these products so far are full-sized products. Day number four. Ooh, day number four kind of stuck. Okay, we have a little, a little something in here. This is, is it mascara? I think we might have a mascara. This is by the brand, Manny, Moni, I don't really know what I'm reading. And this is their Extreme Long Lash Potenkara. What the fuck is a Potenkara? Is that like mascara, but in another language? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a mascara. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm guessing it's gonna be just a black mascara. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. As I always say, mascaras are pretty rare in beauty advent calendars. So this is always good. Day number five. We have uh, maybe like suntan lotion. It's by the brand Round Lab. And this is their Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Stick. Oh, so maybe like a suntan lotion on a stick, which is different. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think it is. It looks like a little like roll on deodorant, but yeah, apparently this is a sun cream. I can't give you any more information. This is all in Korean. I'm sure it's to no one's surprise that I, I don't speak an ounce of Korean. So I have no idea what this says, but that's an interesting product. Yeah, it's literally like on like a little twisty thing. This is incredibly fun. Like this mechanism feels good. <laughs> Day number six is this rather large chap over here. Looks like we've got another skincare product. This is very skincare-y, isn't it? Okay, it just says cream. That could mean many things. I'm gonna guess maybe like a moisturizer. Uh, this is by the brand Astura, <laughs> um, and it's their Atto Barrier Cream. A moisturizing cream with strengthening skin barrier. Okay, so yeah. I mean, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's, it's nothing too exciting. It's just a little tube of moisturizer, but I say little, again, pretty decent size. I still think everything is full size. Day number six. Seven. Some of these are real hard to get out. Like they are wedged in there. Mm. I mean, that was bound to happen eventually. Okay, this is day number seven. It's a face palette, which is interesting. That's a very small little face palette. Um, it's by the brand Unleashia, I think. And this is their Mood Shower face palette. Uh, it's in the shade Ballerina Shower. I guess we'll have a little look. Oh, oh. Ma'am, this is looking a lot like an eyeshadow palette, not a face palette. These look like eyeshadows. Yeah, this is what we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five different shades. And they're basically a bunch of like shimmery colors. I guess they could be highlighters. Ah, maybe they're highlighters. I mean, they look pretty though. You've got some like pale pink colors. Some are a little more gold. It looks cute. Okay, day number eight, we've got what looks like another skincare product. This is possibly an eye cream. Yeah, this is an eye cream. It's by the brand Belif. I think that's how you say it. This is their moisturizing eye balm. Okay. Oh, cute. I like the color. <laughs> and then yeah, you've got your eye cream on the inside. It smells the same as everything. Everything's had this like typical skincare smell. I also feel like everything looks kind of expensive. Like these look like proper nice products. Okay, day number nine. Uh, oh, we might have another makeup product. This is, I'm gonna guess some kind of blush product. I'm not sure though. It's by the brand Lily by Red and this is their Love Cool Love Beam Blur Cheek. That's what I'm thinking, maybe a blush. This one is in the shade, it just says 05. And yeah, I'm guessing this is a blush. It's very pale. Even for me, one of the palest humans to ever walk this planet, I feel like that ain't gonna show up. Um, So this isn't really gonna work for many people, but it's cute. <laughs> Day number 10, we've got this rather large one and it looks like we've got another serum did we already have a serum we did this is our second serum this is by the brand annua and it's their niacinamide and txa serum these these are just words and letters i have no idea what they mean um it says a brightening serum that brightens dark and dull skin oh my goodness the color this looks like it could smell amazing Nah. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's on a little drippy thing, as you saw, so you can just like squeeze it onto your face. Day number 11, we have a little skinny something. Another makeup product, and this is a contour stick. This is by the brand Colorgram, and it's their reforming contour stick. What does that mean? Uh, this one's in the shade 02 Cool Tone. Oh, so on this side, You've got the contour stick. This is what it looks like. Again, this is not gonna work for many people. This is really pale. Um, but yeah, one side you've got the stick and then on the other side, you've got this little kind of, well, it's quite a dense brush. Yeah, so far, if you're wanting this calendar for the makeup stuff, make sure you're pale as fuck. Okay, day number 12, we have, all I've seen is the word kill. Uh, this is, a cream of sorts is by the brand Some By Me, and this is their 14 Days Super Miracle Spot All Kill Cream. Now, is that a bad translation, or are we just mixing words up? Spot All Kill Cream. 
Shouldn't it be the kill all spots cream, right? <laughs> I mean, sure, I'm guessing this is a little spot cream. Yeah, it comes in a little squirty tube like this and then I'm guessing it squirts out the top. <laughs> I don't know why I'm demonstrating how to get cream out of a tube, but there we go. Day number 13, we got another little tube of something, but this is by the brand Hol Holika Holika. I've, I've heard of this one before. And this is their Mood Lasting Brush Liner. Uh, this one's in the shade Rosy Brew. Okay, what are we gonna be? I'm thinking a lip liner, maybe? Nope, I'm thinking an eyeliner, maybe? <laughs> oh, it's like a felt tip liner. Yeah, it's a felt tip liner. It's in a kind of brown shade, but it's kind of a reddy brown. It's almost like a rusty burgundy color. I feel like you could use that as a lip liner. You could also use it for some kind of eye stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not quite what I was expecting. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to like rub it off my hand. That shit ain't budging. Oh no, it's budging. Day number 14, we've got another pretty big one. Some more skincare. This is a cleansing foam. Uh, it's by the brand... Who's the brand? Oh, I think it's this. Be Plain. And this is their... Mung Bean uh, Cleansing Foam. Not really much else to say about it. It feels very thick, like squeezing it in the tube. It feels like it's a really thick cleanser. But yeah, I'm guessing it's one of those ones that as you add water and like rub it together, it goes foamy. Nice. Day number 15, we've got this little tiny one. I think it's a powder. This is by the brand Caesar X. Hyalon, I tried. Uh, and this is their No Sebum Moisture Powder. Okay, so it's in a little lilac pot like this, very cute. Oh, it comes with a spongy thingy like this. And then yeah, I mean, in here you've got your loose powder. Dab, dab, dab. Nice, very helpful demonstrations. You're so welcome. Ooh, day number 16 is also a pretty big one. A wrapping mask. What does that even mean? This is by the brand Medicube and it's their Collagen Night Wrapping Mask. Uh, oh, it sounds like it's like a peel off mask. Nice, I love a peeling one. They're, they're great fun. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. This is like an overnight mask as well. So you put it on before bed, you leave it on whilst you sleep and then you peel it off in the morning. To me, that sounds like a bad night's sleep. Like how are you supposed to sleep well with stuff on your face? Nah. Can't be asked for that. I'd probably, if I used this, just have it on like throughout the day if I wasn't doing anything, which is always. It smells like nothing. Honestly, I, I thought these products, because they're all like cute and stuff, they'd all smell really good, but they're all very plain smelling, which I guess is good in some ways because it means that it's more like natural products, I guess. It's good if you've got sensitive skin like me, but it's not good if you like sniffing things like me. <laughs> okay, day number 17 is this little one here. Oh, okay. I think we've got another makeup product. I don't know exactly what it is. It's by the brand Etude and it's the Etude. It literally sounds like a sneeze. This is their overglowy glowy tint. This one is in the shade Bambi Cherry. Oh, okay. So it is just like a liquid. Well, I feel like it's probably a lip tint, isn't it? It's in this really dark, like deep pink color, almost like red. It's so dark. But yeah, I mean, it looks quite nice. Day number 18, we have another skincare product of sorts. I don't know what it is, but it's by the brand Mix Soon. And this is their Bean Essence. That is the only info I have, Bean Essence. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. It's on a little squirty thing. It looks like a serum again. It is it's looking a bit serum-y. So that's our third one in the calendar. Day number 19, we've got another little tiny one. Liquid Glitter. Okay, this is by the brand Roman. And this is their The Universe Liquid Glitter in the shade Minty Way. Okay, that's kind of cute. Is it going to be mint scented? Ooh, okay. It's in like this little tube. I don't think it's going to be mint scented. It's glitter. I think it's called Minty Way because it's like a minty colour. It is very subtle, but there is a hint of like a minty green in there mixed in with kind of like silver, I guess. So yeah, I guess this is like a liquid glitter liner kind of product. Day number 20. Oh, this one's kind of heavy. Oh, this is some after sun. Okay, so we've got our suntan lotion. Now we've got after sun. It's winter, you know, these are quite summery products. Um, anyway, this is by the brand Dear Claire's and it's their Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Oh, is this one of their like cooling creams? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's in this like pastel blue color. That's quite cute. Let me give it a go and see if it's 
It is. It's one of those creams that feels really cold. That's why it's obviously good for if you've got sunburn. Yeah, I kind of love that. Not that I ever get sunburn because the sun does not see my skin, but I like the feel of it. It feels nice. Day 21. Some people were very sad that I didn't say that it's my lucky number in my last video. So I apologize. My lucky number. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, okay. This is... Oh, these are some like eye patches. I like things like this. This is by the brand Abib. And these are their collagen eye patch Jericho Rose Jelly. We've got a bunch of little eye patch, eye mask kind of things. And then they're just like little jelly blobs like that. This looks like a lot, like you get a lot in there. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what a Jericho Rose Jelly is, but it smells like ass. <laughs> but still, I feel like that's a nice product to get in there. Pretty good one for day 21 for once. Usually my lucky number lets me down, but that was decent. Okay, day 22, we have this little tiny one. This might be the smallest box so far. We have whatever this is. Literally, whatever this is, it's giving nothing. It's by the brand news i think and it says care liptual maybe like a lip balm like lip care i don't know yeah i can't read anything else oh it's in the shade coolish again this is pretty cute packaging it's in this cute lilac color oh it kind of feels like a nail polish is it a nail polish it is not okay it looks like another kind of lip tint kind of product i think yeah, it looks quite similar to the other one actually. It's in this same kind of like deep pinky red kind of color, um, which is interesting. You'd think they'd do like two different shades for the lip tints. Was this the other one? Yeah, this was the other one. I feel like they're just very similar colors. Day 23, we have... It's another fucking serum. <laughs> this is our fourth serum. I feel like that is three too many. <laughs> this is by the brand Numbazin, I think. And this is their five plus vitamin concentrated serum. My voice is leaving me. Oh, it says, what's your number on it? The box is flirting with me, interesting. All right, come on then, serum number four. Let's see what makes you any different to the others. It comes with like a separate squeezy pipette thing. So I guess you've got to like attach it yourself. And then here it is. It's just in a little bottle. It's just another serum really. I'm bored now. <laughs> like I've said though, if you're a massive skincare person and you love this kind of thing, four serums probably isn't that many. So I'm not complaining. It's just not for me and that is fine. And then finally we have day 24. This is the last day in the advent calendar because it is a 20 four day calendar let's have a look and see this looks adorable this looks so cute so this is i'm guessing an eyeshadow palette it's by the brand daisy maybe and this is their candy berry nine sweet shades ice cream palette a variety of textures oh that's so cute they are literally like little blobs of ice cream we've got like a mixture of sort of pinky colors and brownie shades we've also got a mixture of mattes and shimmers and the shimmery ones are like i guess like marbly yeah it's like a marble texture these look so cute this is the kind of thing that i expected most of the calendar to be like like really cutesy little products um because i know that's what k beauty products are usually like plus the calendar was kind of you know giving that vibe so it's nice that they ended on something like that i'm surprised more stuff wasn't like that though yeah i think that's a pretty nice final day it's not massive is it like it's still quite a small eyeshadow palette but it's adorable so it's allowed to be small if it's adorable sure and there we go that is the advent calendar all unboxed this is what the front looks like by the way oh and this was the random day number one that was in the front i think it was pretty great you get a massive variety of different products all full-size products i'm pretty sure i thought it was a pretty good mixture of like skincare and makeup i think the negatives would be the makeup products probably won't work for everyone i know that's difficult with an advent calendar but they're not going to work for many people at all some of them but apart from that i think it was pretty good i'd say it's definitely worth the money i also feel like maybe i have enough almost to do a full face of makeup up so i guess i'll test out the makeup products see you in a bit bye okay i'm gonna absolutely speed run this testing part because this video is already really long i've only had to do my eyebrows and a bit of concealer as always but i think we have everything else from the calendar so considering it's not even like a full makeup calendar and it's like half makeup half skincare the variety was so good that we pretty much have a full face of makeup so this is the contour i think it's going to be a perfect match for me but like i said in the video this really wouldn't work for too many people so yeah i'm not sure of this one i'm also not sure of the little brush but we'll give it a go 
Yeah, as predicted, the brush is so bad at blending it in. I did think it might be. I guess I'll try again, but blend it in with my sponge. I mean, it's definitely working a little bit better with a sponge, but it's still not great. Like, it's not a very blendable contour. Mm, I feel like it's working a little bit better as a nose contour. So maybe that is what we use it for. I mean, I guess it's done a little something, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Okay, so this is the powder. I'm just going to take... Ooh, a little sponge. I'm just gonna dab a little bit out onto it. Why does it feel wet? It's it, like, what? It feels like wet going on my face, but it's not. It's powder. It, it's quite literally the driest thing possible. That was really weird. It's not doing it anymore. It was only when like I initially pat it on. Let me try on the other side. It does! When you first put it on, it feels wet. I'm so confused. I feel like it's done the job. It's definitely mattified my skin. I feel like if you were like an oily skin person, I feel like that would really work. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer, just because that contour was kind of rubbish. I feel like it hasn't done much. Speaking of not doing much, here we have the world's palest blush to ever exist, I think. I feel like this just isn't gonna show up. Okay, I've tried applying it three times to each side. I don't see no nothing. I feel like it's not done anything at all. Maybe like the most subtle, tiniest little bit, but really not much. It's like a pointless amount. Like I could have just not bothered and I probably would have looked the same. Oh, and like I said before, if this ain't even showing up on me, then it ain't gonna show up on many people, is it? You know, I'm pretty pale, so the rest of you, you got no hope. Okay, so this is what they call a face palette and I'm guessing that means highlighter palette because I mean, I don't know what else you'd do with these on your face. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. I feel like nothing is showing up. I know that K-Beauty products are known for being quite like natural and very like subtle. So I guess this is to be expected, but so far I feel like none of the face products are really doing anything. Okay, maybe the eye products will be a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the eyeshadow palette next, the little ice cream one, it's very cute. But yeah, these are the different shades. I think I'm gonna take maybe like a bit of this matte brown to start and then, oh, I don't know what shimmer to go for. Maybe this one. The eyeshadow seemed to be working pretty well, blended out really nicely, but again, it's just very subtle. I'm gonna try going in with my finger and see if that helps. Oh, okay, that is definitely helping a bit. I'm gonna try going in with a bit of this shade. I feel like it might show up a bit more. Okay, this one's more of like a chunky glitter kind of thing, so this might help just to add a little something. Okay, yeah, yeah, this definitely shows up a lot better. It's not the most intense eyeshadow I've ever done, but I think it's quite cute. So yeah, I feel like depending on what you like in terms of eyeshadow, this will either be great or really bad for you. <laughs> but I quite liked it, I think it's all right. Okay, so for eyeliner, we have like a brown sort of burgundy color, which is definitely very different. Okay, I think that might be as good as I'm gonna get it. And I'm also not sure of the color. I mean, I'm sure there'd be people that would really like sort of interesting colored eyeliner. I think I just prefer a bit of black. Okay, so this is the glitter eyeliner. I think I might just use this kind of in my inner corners or something. Just like pop a little bit in here as like a highlight. Ooh, that's actually working pretty nicely. Yeah, this is working so well as an inner corner highlight. Oh my goodness. I might even try it like a little bit my nose is like a nose tip highlight. Okay, yeah, this works really well. Like out of all the products so far, I feel like this shows up the best. Okay, this is the mascara. So see, so yeah, it's just on a little curved wand like this. I feel like it's pretty good. I think it's one of those mascaras that has like little fibers in it. So as you put it on, they kind of like attach onto your lashes and make them look extra long. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I quite liked it. I think it worked pretty well. And then finally, we've got three different lip products. So first of all, we've got a clear ugh, a lip gloss, lip oil kind of product. I've just worked out what it smells like. It smells like strawberry pencil sweets. You know, those things that are like a, a, a pencil <laughs> with the white shit in the middle. It smells like them. And then we also have this little lip tint in this kind of bright pinky ready color. And then we also have this lip tint in a also kind of pinky ready color. I guess this one's maybe a little bit more red. I think I'm just gonna go for a little bit of this one. Oh, it's like way wetter than I thought it was gonna be. That's really strange. Like, can you see? It's coming out like kind of sheer, but 
really wet. I really like it though. I feel like this is more my kind of lip product. Like I'm not much of a lipstick person. I prefer just like a little tinted lip balm. And that's kind of what this feels like. Like my lips look very hydrated and healthy after using it, but it's added like a little hint of color. So yeah, I really like this. And yeah, this is my finished makeup done. I actually think it turned out all right. Some of the products were definitely better than others, but I think overall it looks all right. I think the thing with K-Beauty products is they are definitely aimed more at people who like kind of natural, subtle makeup, which I quite like but I understand they're probably not for everyone so yeah I think it's a good calendar depending on what you like but yeah overall I think it was a pretty great one um I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you very soon for another video bye